Dean, some would use the putative existence of ESP as demonstration of the reality of a spiritual world. They take the anecdotal or scientific data that you and your colleagues have, have, have uh, developed and use it to defend the existence of a spirit world. Is that a legitimate extrapolation? I think it's useful to look at where the modern uh, experimental study of ESP came from. It came from people who were trying to study whether mediums were talking to dead people. Yeah. So, I mean, there, that, it, it came out of a tradition where people assumed that there was some kind of a spiritual world. So after people studied mediums for a while, they realized that the vertical information that a medium would sometimes get, now they claimed it would come from a dead person, but where did it really come from? So the study of telepathy started as a, a way of, in the laboratory, seeing whether a medium was able to get information out of somebody's head. And, and actually then the, within the, the, the field of parapsychology, there was kind of a split. Most of it went in the direction of experimental laboratory work to look at the basic phenomena, to, to look at clairvoyance and telepathy and all the rest of it. And, and a, a, a shoot, a subshoot of it continued looking at mediumship in more and more refined and sophisticated ways to see if through very complicated designs you can get evidence for some kind of independent entity. Now some would claim today that the designs have improved so much and the, the historical evidence of mediumship basically proves that there is some kind of independent entity. My take on the, that evidence is not so strong. I see it as really good evidence for ESP. There's some kind of information transfer, but it is not clear to me that it is coming from dead people. From what I can tell, it's coming from living people, but just through many different channels. It may not be in anybody's mind in the present, but maybe it's in their mind in the past, somebody's mind. Maybe it's through clairvoyance that you get the right answer. So as soon as you open the possibility that you just, it's not just mind to mind, but it's mind to who knows where, then the possibility of getting information that will match suddenly goes up. Well, and also the, the, then the, the, the likelihood of coming up with a definitive explanation of what it is goes down be, because you're, you're really unable ever, it would seem, to say that there really is some disembodied spirit. You can not say that because that information could come from all sorts of different ways. I, I know the, the ESP literature pretty well. I know the mediumship literature reasonably well. And in my evaluation of both branches, I, I, I fully accept that there's information transferring in some strange way, that mediums can do that. But I see them more as a specialized type of psychic, you know, doing things with living people. Uh, and I'm not completely convinced personally that the survivor issue is solved. So uh, how, how then do you look at ESP as, 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 as a potential window on a, another kind of level of, of, of existence? Well, what it does is it, it creates a plausibility argument. The, the plausibility argument is based on the idea that if you think you're locked inside here, then the only information that can get in there is coming through here and so on. But, but if there's other ways of getting information, then perhaps mind is distributed in which case maybe you don't really need all of the full body stuff in order to inhabit it. In other words, you don't need the, the, to be embodied in order to have some kind of awareness, perhaps. Which would give you a possibility of survival beyond bodily death. Right. It may not involve survival of your personality, because it, it may well be that your personality is locked in memory in your brain. But if it turns out that memory is not just locked in your brain, but exists in some other form as well, then yes, maybe you as a personality, the person you think of as yourself, might persist in some way.